Hello everyone, I'm your host Jeff Giant, and I'm here today with Stephanie Lewis, Pediatric Nurse Practitioner. Yes, and thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to discuss with our viewers how to keep our family safe while we're outdoor, having a wonderful time on vacation and grilling and just general outdoor activity. Wow, that's going to be, that's really important because summertime, that's what we always do is take the kids and go outside. So we have one here. Remember to pack a first aid kit. What is that talking about? Yes, and when you're talking about packing a first aid kit, do not leave it in the car. Do not leave it in your camper. But the number one thing with first aid is visual. You need to always keep your children within your eyesight. Never turn your back on a child. This time of year we have so many drownings because just for a second, a parent or a caregiver just decided to go back in the house or went back to the car or just turned around to pick up their cell phone and a small toddler or child ran into the ocean or fell into the pool. When we talk about pool safety, those little floaties do not depend on life jackets and floaties and things like that. Often a small child can sip through or tumble over. Oh, okay. So are you telling me that I just have to be right there on them the whole time they're outside? Yes. Oh. That is so important. And then <laughs> when you carry your first aid, a lot of times people will pack one, but they'll leave it in the car or their camper. They forget about extra water. They forget about taking it in a simple backpack because a lot of time beach parking is further away and you have to walk a long way to the beach or when you're hiking up in the mountain. They forget about a flashlight when it gets dark. Okay, this is a safety. Sunscreen uh -huh. is so important. And some people say, I don't need sunscreen. Yeah. I'm not going to stay that long. But when you're doing water activity, the reflection is even hotter. But really, really, do you really think I need sunscreen? Yes, you burn. Everyone burns, okay. and the sun have a lot of rays and ultraviolet light. And so therefore, you might not see being beat red, but you have that tenderness, and your skin is flaking. So it's very painful. And a small child's skin is very thin. So they can go from a blister to a third degree burn very quickly. All right. I like to mention this, Jeff, uh -huh. is the hand sanitizer. It's also very important for us to like clean our wounds. You can have uh, an aseptic uh, neosporin, triple antibiotic, to just wash out with the bottled water, a cut, a scrape, blister, and this time of year, mosquitoes are just, whoo, they're just tearing you up. And in the clinic, I see so many kids with mosquito bites. Gotcha. You can just use, if you put on a repellent, and there's all different brands, test it first on the lower extremity before you rub it all over your body. Okay. But then you're gonna get bit. And so therefore, you need to have something like a calamine lotion or Benadryl cream. Okay. Well, tell me something, Steph. Tell me something about allergies and asthma. Out yeah. there playing, the kids playing real good, the game going on real good, and all of a sudden, you know, they start coming back with <coughs> ah. The pollen is high, and so you can have people say, well, I don't live maple tree, but the pollen is blown in. Uh, in California, we have what you call Santa winds, and so you can have allergies, and then that perfect storm, you're dehydrated, you're overheated, and your allergies just flare up. So if you know you have an allergy or you've been prescribed Claritin, Loratadine, Zyrtec, give it to your child. Those are once a day medications. So before your outing, you can give them their allergy pill. Now what happened back in the day when we went out playing and just came back hissing and, and sneezing? I mean, we, we was all right then. Well, a lot of children did die. Okay. Because you can have severe allergic reaction. And that's when your healthcare provider will prescribe an EpiPen. Some people are severely have an anaphylactic reaction to bee stings, to peanuts, to a lot of food allergies. But the parents do not bring it. They eat something at a potluck or vendor, uh -huh. and their throat was swelled, their tongue was swelled. 
and you have seconds. If you have that EpiPen on you in your bag, you can give it an IM and you must call 911. But the common thing is asthma is inhaler. And you'd be surprised how many parents will not take their inhaler for their child with them, knowing that they're playing soccer or going to a league game. For a small child, they can't just shake it up. And, they're not smokers, okay? So they need their spacer. And you oh, okay, how, what age are you talking about for that? Well, it depends. Usually a spacer, they recommend spacers for everyone, but there are different types. But this is for a small child, so you can just put it over their nose and mouth and just watch them take five breaths. Small child. Yes, a small but child. somebody 12 or 13 might, might not need that. Just think about it. If you're having an asthma attack, you might not have the muscle strength to really use your inhaler properly. So they have different forms of spacers that during an attack, at least it gives them time to breathe it in. Oh, okay. So we have here saying, remember to have fun. Can we really have fun if we have all of those steps we have to go by? Well, Where's the fun at outside? Well, the fun is knowing that you have a plan of action if something should occur. Ooh. If your kid, you know, have an owie or fall down, you can just put an ice pack on their little womb. You have a Band-Aid to stop the bleeding, okay? This by your time to ensure, usually kids bounce back real, real quick. Sometimes kids will get a fever. Just giving them that Tylenol or that Advil or ibuprofen, that will make your drive home comfortable instead of you waiting and then they're in the emergency room. I just, one more point. Okay. I like to keep the internal medicines, meaning medic medications that you inhale or take by mouth separate from the external. Your alcohol, your things that you're topical, because you don't oh. want someone to accidentally, Benadryl's come in a lot of form. Mm -hmm. There's a form you can apply it over, like there's a swelling, and then there's a form you take for allergies. So you don't want to mix those up. Okay. so. The main thing is communication is key. That's right. But if I'm out there as a kid playing, it seems that I'm coming back every five minutes telling my mom what is going on with me. Is that what you want? Well, for small children, remember, the direct line of sight is very important. If something should occur, you should have a cell phone that's charged. The kid or? The parent. The parent, okay. okay especially uh, that way Hello, you can Hello, Mom, I'm out here on the field. Like, I can't. That's I, right. I can't get, you, you can notify. <laughs> I can't. Uh, you can notify someone. A lot of times we use our cell phone but do not save our battery or you have an extra battery pack, especially hiking. A lot of people hike. They get disoriented and they can't find their way back and the cell phone will give them a signal. Now, older kids is a buddy system. Okay. And, you know, when I was growing up, I always had to go with the sibling. Well, we had to leave the house together and come back together. And if you, sometimes I waited a long time for my sibling to return. Yep. But that's a check and balance of coming back to a site. Or telling on the sibling. Yes. Coming back to a site and saying, here. And this day and age, safety is so important. A lot of people wander off or... You know, we hate to talk about child abduction, but it happens. Ooh, yeah, deep. Now, hydration. If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Yes. So that's why when you're having a lot of fun outdoors, just to have every hour come back for some, uh, something to drink or some fruit. Uh, we like to pack our chips, which is salty, and a lot of the snacks are sugary but you really need the basic hydration of the, the fresh fruits and water-based foods and, and just generally some type of fluid. Oh, okay, so all, with all that, remembering, remembering still just to have fun. That's right. Fun with your kids because play is the work of children. Amen. Now, I noticed that you had to pack over here, but I had a friend and every time he went out, he had a snake kit as well. So is something like that important too? If you're going into a terrain that they're known for uh, snakes, or uh, some people like to go into mounting and ticks. Ticks, ticks. Yes. So know your environment. Uh, stingrays at some beaches, jellyfish stings. So they have particular kits for those things. And some of these waters, you hear about even shark attacks. So some people carry something to make a tourniquet to stop bleeding. So when you plan your vacation or your outing, you should know what type of um, 
things you should prepare for. Being from Alabama, like you are, poison ivy and poison oak. And poison people. <laughs> Snakes. Snakes and everything. <laughs> and so you would carry your cream because you're playing and you would come back with these rash from poison ivy and, and poison oak. Yes, yes. You know, when you just mentioned that, back in the day I used to have a friend, and I think you know him too, and we were in a, having a baseball game, softball game, basketball game, and all of a sudden in the middle of the game he just disappeared. And he'd come back about an hour later every time so what do you think was going on? He was trained to check in, to check in with his parents. And that was a safety, a good safety factor. Um, as a child gets older, maybe it's not every hour, but maybe every four, you know your child, you know the circumstances that you're in. And so therefore, when we go to these big uh, LA County fairs where there's a lot of people and you wanna give a, a teenager, preteen some freedom you do want them to come back and check in, and that gives you time to say they're okay, because a lot of times your cell phone might not work. True, and we lost the game too. <laughs> well, so, I'd like to thank you so much for family fun and first aid. And thank you. Remember families, have a great time and think safety first. <laughs>